Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is San Oscar As I promised, uh, I have done my uh, basement car parking area layout. As you can see, um, it's ready for programming. So today, what I'm going to do is to give you the Arduino board pinout. So in this, uh, car parking system, specifically basement car parking system, uh, is using two Arduino boards, okay? So actually in my layout, there are three Arduino boards, but in this uh, system, I use only the two. The other Arduino is a square one, okay? Now, what I have here is the Arduino board one pinout then Arduino board to pin out, and I have also here the sequence of operation. Now, this information will guide the BMS enthusiast or the student who are wishing to program this demo system, okay? So as you can see in Arduino board number one pin out, so for my analog inputs, uh, A0 to A4 are occupied for the five, parking slots, okay? Now in my layout, I have there seven parking slots, okay? But uh, for this demo, we will just use the five uh, parking slots. So for the programmers, you will be programming these five parking slots, okay? So I have a one spare A5 for my Arduino board one. Then for the digital IOs, I have the information here, as you can see, the occupied uh, pins are two, three, four, five, then six and seven are spares, then eight, nine, 10 and 11, 12 or 13 are spares as well, okay? Now let me show you the pinout for Arduino board number two. So for Arduino board number two, a0 is for, I connected the smoke detector or the CO carbon monoxide detector in analog input A0, okay? Then my IR uh, signal for exit and entrance gate barriers, A1 and A2 respectively. So A4 and A5 for my LCD, SDA, and SCL. Now for the digital IOs, uh, two is for the control relay module for entrance RGB. As you know, when the RGB is closed, the color of the RGB LEDs will be red. Then when it opens, it will turn to green, okay? Now, pin number five, MQ the seven DO for the CO detector. Six, entrance GB servo. Eight for buzzer, seven is a spare, then nine exit GB servo, that is for servo motor signal, okay? Now, I have a note down here, it says that LCD display is connected to Arduino number two. Now, uh, these two boards are connected uh, using these pins zero and one, RX and TX for both Arduino, okay? Now, you don't have to worry for this one because I will be the one doing all the connections. All you need to do is to the programming, your sketch program, okay? Now, how are you going to program this? So I have here the sequence of operation. Okay? So sequence of operation goes like this. So one, RGB LEDs for parking slot one to five by default will be color green, right? In the event that the slot is occupied, the RGB LEDs will turn to red. At the same time, the information displayed in the LCD screen will be updated accordingly. Two, when the slot is vacated, then the RGB LEDs will turn to green again and information in LCD will be updated as well. So three, to provide proper ventilation in the normal mode, FAF number one and MEF number one. So FAF is press air fan then main extraction fan will be on by default. In the event of high carbon monoxide or flame detection in the area, the two jet fans JF1 and 2 will run. 
then when CO level go below a certain ppm, jet punch will stop. Likewise, when there is fire detection in the area, exit gate barrier will open and the entrance gate barrier will stay closed. And fire alarm will be displayed in LCD screen. In the event of fire detection, then high CO concentration, the buzzer will emit an alarm sound and LCD will display fire alarm with CO detection. LCD will display the number of parking slots available. And when all the slots are occupied, entrance gate barrier will not open to prevent cars from entering the area. LCD display updated accordingly, okay? So those are the sequence of operation. So your skits program will be based on this sequence of operation, okay? So for the time being, these are the information that you need to be able to program this basement car parking system demo unit, okay? So for, if you are new to this channel, uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Then you can also click the bell, notification bell, so that you'll be uh, notified if a new video will be available in my channel. So thank you for watching this uh, short video clip. And again, if you have any question or comments, just put jot down your comment. So I'll be very happy to uh, answer or reply to your comments. I hope uh, you will be able to learn something from this demo unit. So thank you very much for watching. And bye for now and God bless us all.